Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna go over some, some commodities, looking at the charts, uh, just for the entire commodity sector. See what they're doing, uh, see if they're breaking out of patterns, breaking down out of patterns, like breaking up or breaking down. Uh, we wanna see what they're doing. And this is just kind of an overall look at the entire commodity sector with a whole bunch of different commodities. I randomly selected these. There are a lot of metals, uh, not so much some of the agriculture. Um, I, I didn't really put them in this one. But uh, I'll go over the CRB index. I'll go over a lot of energy-related stuff and metal-related stuff, just because that's where I'm used to looking at. So here we go. This is commodities, kind of in general. And let's see what we're looking at. So the overall CRB index, we've we've come off very strong from September, November of 2020, moving on higher. We had one little pause here, moving on higher, and we've been going up in this channel so far. And we're right at the bottom of the channel. If this breaks to the downside, we might see a little bit more of a correction like, like this back here. Uh, or maybe we'll stay in this channel moving on up. It's unknown at this moment. Uh, but this is what the chart looks like at this time. Crude oil, it looks like we broke out of its descending wedge type pattern and we're back testing the top of the pattern. If we can find some support here, we might see this move on higher. But everything looks very good for oil uh, in terms of its chart pattern and what it looks like. Natural gas is another one looking at it from a long term perspective. It's been in this downtrend. And we're right there pausing at the uh, downtrend line. I'm curious to see if this is going to break and move to the upside or if we're going to stay underneath this downward trend line. Gold. Gold has been going up from, from a very big long-term perspective. It's inflation. Uh, and it accounts for it. During expansionary phases, this was an expansion phase of real estate. So was this. This was right after. Uh, this was an expansion phase all the way up to 08, and then it kept going. And we're going into an expansion phase at any point here where I think we'll see another move higher. Notice last time when we en encountered this high, uh, we kind of came up, came back, and then we moved higher. Maybe it's doing something similar to that. We'll see. Silver, this is what it looks like on a big long-term picture. Uh, we are kind of breaking down a little bit. Uh, looking at this, kind of looking at this pattern over here, maybe we have a little bit more time moving sideways before we move higher. It's possible. Uh, copper is flirting with its all-time highs. We ran right up and hit our head against this ceiling, so to speak. We're pulling on back. Maybe we'll kind of make a u-shape type pattern eventually put a little handle on this cup steel rebar still looks pretty good uh, drawing the line across here broke out back tested now we're kind of meandering around above its its all-time highs iron ore we pop through this downtrend line kind of back testing at the moment We'll see if this holds, but it doesn't look too bad to me. Uh, uranium, we're still kind of moving and, and bottoming out, and I think we're getting close to a, to a move where we could see it shoot higher. So I'd be very patient here. Uranium is one of, the, one of the best valued commodities at the moment, I think. Platinum, you can see the downtrend line we broke through, kind of back testing at the moment. Uh, we could go a little bit lower, maybe a little bit, before moving higher. Uh, in 01, we had a very similar pattern that made this pattern right here. We came up and pulled back. Uh, I propose that we could be doing this similar pattern right now, just like we did here before we, we launched higher. Uh, lumber. So lumber, every, I know everybody talks about lumber. It's a big YouTube. A lot of people talk about lumber on YouTube. This was kind of the, the consolidation period where it was just moving sideways and a massive break. COVID shot this back down and then it broke. And I think we're coming back and back testing. We'll see what happens after this. I may have to do some basing out before going anywhere else. 
Uh, but I don't, I don't, I wouldn't really choose lumber as my investment area right here. Kind of wait for it to to base out. Now here's nickel coming on down. Looks like we're trying to break this little line going here. Break it and move on up. So that looks pretty good. Uh, tin broke out and it's been jetting higher. That's for sure. Uh, looks like all-time highs. Uh, aluminum's looking a little bit tired if you draw it kind of like this. It uh, looks like it's coming up in an ascending wedge and we could potentially break to the downside eventually. Uh, neodymium, just kind of looking at this chart here. Uh, we had a, a massive move up and then we're coming on back. I think it's going to take some time to base out a little bit before moving higher. Um, think of it like this, like we came up, came back down. This portion here is this portion here. And it's going to base out a little bit before moving higher again. And it just repeats over and over that pattern. Coal has had an incredible run recently at all-time highs, it looks like. Or at least highs since 20, uh, 2010. Lead's looking really nice. I like this setup here. It just looks like it's going to launch if we break to the upside. Uh, like a lot of the other commodities. But that's what I had uh, to share. Just kind of wanted to, to share some of the commodities and what they look like. Uh, I don't think they look that bad. Uh, I don't see these big uh, patterns outside of maybe aluminum. Aluminum looks like it needs needs some work before I would be buying it into the downside. That is, I think we're going to pull back there. But natural gas looks good. Oil looks good. Um, the metals look fine, like gold and silver. They don't look horrible on a long-term chart. Platinum looks pretty good. Uh, and some of these other metals, they don't look too bad. Uh, so to me, everything looks game on. Uh, the ratios are definitely in favor of commodities versus stocks. Uh, stocks are vastly overpriced. Um, if P if interest rates go up, I think PE ratios are going to contract, and I think stocks are going to be in a world of hurt. When's that going to happen? I don't know. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I do know that commodities are cheap. They're very cheap. And what I'm doing is I'm hanging out in commodities, and I'm going to wait. Uh, I will do an update on housing. We'll see what housing's doing because that, in my opinion, is one of the drivers uh, of inflation. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.